Hi there. Andy again. Thanks ever so much uh, for liking, subscribing to Andy Bora Fishing. Um, it's going really well, really pleased. The basis of today is a thing called Rotten Bottom. <laughs> um, but uh, to do with fishing, of course. Um, there's a couple of things on the market to do with Rotten Bottom clips. Um, canny links and things like that. But um, what I use is a very simple thing, which is basically a hook which has an eye on one end and it's sort of finished off the other end. So why would we use a rotten bottom? Um, if you're fishing in um, very rocky ground um, and you wanted to limit your tackle losses, so essentially uh, lose just the lead weight rather than the, um, the rig, the whole rig, so you just lose the lead weight so it comes off, that's the idea of it. It gives you a better chance of getting the fish back, better chance of getting your rigs back, um, reduces tackle losses. That's the essential thing. Um, thanks ever so much for everybody liking, subscribing. Really, really appreciate it. Um, all I'm going to do now is show you a very, very thing, a quick thing regarding why we would use a rotten bottom. So I've got a, a dummy sort of rig, which is just a bit of line with the hook on it. So let's say you had your pulley rig, your paternoster, your two hook rig, or whatever. That's on the bottom where you'd normally put your lead weight. Um, you can change it to your, to your own sort of design, your own style, it's entirely up to you. So from your main rig body, when I'm using rotten bottom rigs, I normally use probably about 10 to 12 pound line. And I pull off quite a bit. Simple, simple reason is I tie a few little knots in it to weaken it. And when I want to say weaken it, if you're pulling for a break, and you've got quite a few little knots, um, especially with 10 to 12 pound line, hopefully one of those knots is gonna break before your main line does. Um, it's not 100% a way of um, ensuring your uh, tackle loss is reduced, but it really does improve them. So with this, all I do is tie the lighter line through this eye which is going to be your end bit of tackle. So just tighten that. It doesn't have to be um, neat and tidy because essentially what you're trying to do is make sure that you lose just the lead weight rather than anything else. So that's, that's all it is at the moment. Really, really easy. And then to the lead weight, just to a a quick spin around, tie that onto the lead weight, and with the lead weight one, the part, I normally put it to the side during the cast. Don't know why, um, probably just to ensure that it actually comes off. Um, so just tie that on, very simple. You can see one of the knots that I've put in there as well. All right, there's another one halfway down. So you can already see there's damage, you know, tie knots like that. There's damage in this bit line. And then, quite simply, hook that on there, like so. So you can see that now. Really, really simple. And what happens is, when, the late, when you cast out, I don't think I've had any of these come off during the cast. Um, I don't think I have, I can't recall. So when you cast out, what happens is when that hits the water, it literally pops off like so. And then you got your lead. Just trying to do this. You got your lead there, you got your rig there. And if you're pulling for a break, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this. So you got your lead. This is your rig with your fish on it. And you're pulling, you're trying your best. There we go. It snapped. You get your rig back. Okay, you've lost the lead weight, but that's not the end of the world, is it? Get your rig, all your end tackle, all your line, hopefully that dream fish that you've been after. So there we have it. Very, very simple. The rotten bottom rig. Thanks ever so much. Please like, please liking, subscribing. Andy Bora Fishing. I really appreciate it. Stay safe, everyone. I'll see you soon.